That is a whole entire dead bird. That might be his beak. I don't know. Good, how are you? Good. You, you want to fish, you can come here in the morning. Come here in the morning? Yeah, if, uh, the members don't like anyone out here for insurance reasons, just in case you get hit. Okay. But if you want to, do you live around here? Yeah, I do. If you want to come here at like 7.30, come here at like 5 o'clock and leave at 7.30. Are there actually fish in here? Oh yeah, beautiful fish. All right, thank you. Because if, for insurance reasons, just in case I get hit or whatever, which is completely understandable, so you already know I'm coming back tomorrow morning. <laughs> I think I already got weeds. Fish on, fish on. There we go. We got a fish. Holy sh It's massive. Julia, holy crap. Did I lose him? No, 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 he's in there. He's in there. I don't even care if I'm going in the water right now. He's literally massive. Oh my God. I'm in the water. Can you come take my, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Dude! Dude! Alright, just caught this fish right here. It was like my maybe second or third cast into this pond. Um, all I'm using is a black and blue jig with a crack and crawl as my trailer. <sighs> that is an awesome looking fish right here, man. <laughs> We're gonna get a quick weigh on him just so we can know how big he is. So I would get a weight on him, but um, it's not working. That is a huge bummer. But holy crap, dude. We're gonna take a couple pictures and get a release on her, but look at her <laughs> massive. <laughs> Fish one, Becca zero. <laughs> Pounds right here. This is like a five and a half, six pounder. Absolutely massive. Probably my biggest fish of the year, to be honest with you guys. But we're going to get a release on her. There's no other way for me to put her in except for tossing her over because of all this grass. <laughs> that was sick. Okay. All right, we just walked to the other side of the pond. I can, like, barely see. Oh, look at that. Jeez. Man, I don't even care if I don't catch another fish. That was just so epic. There's a lot of weeds at this pond. And I can't see where I'm casting because of all the smoke and fog. Oh, I have a fish, I have a fish, I have a fish. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. No. That felt like a good bite too. He straight up dropped it. The second, I was like, all right, I'm gonna hook him. He was just like, nah, never mind. I don't really want the jig this morning. Damn. It's all right, get right back up in there. All right, we made it to the second, well, technically the first pond that we first fished. Julia just left because she got too cold. Oh, that was a huge turtle, dude. Sorry, I just got so distracted. A huge turtle just waked in front of me. Um, yeah, she got too cold, her feet were freezing. Um, I can't really feel my feet. I went into the water for that fish and yeah, definitely worth it. I'm not even mad about it. I don't even care if I get hypothermia. That was, that was so worth it. For anyone that bass fishes, I highly recommend throwing a jig. It is just the funnest bait 
but it's also it's also a pretty hard bait to get into and really figure out. I first started using the jig. It probably took me, I don't know, give or take about a month to really get the hang of it. Um, which to some people that might feel like a long time or a short amount of time, it depends on the person. But um, I thought it was a pretty, you know, normal amount of time to figure out how to use a jig. It's just, it's an interesting bait. You have to know when and where to throw it. If you're in a pond and there's a lot of weeds or a lake and there's a lot of weeds, it's, it's a frustrating bait to throw, but it, it gets the job done just unlike any other bait. So that's why I always resort back to throwing the jig. I don't know, I just feel it's, it's like my comfort bait. The jig and the chatterbait are like my two comfort baits for sure. I don't know, I figured I'd give you guys some tips this morning just because, you know, the bite isn't, you know, we're not catching like 20 fish this morning. <laughs> I rather catch a big fish than 20 fish for sure, but content wise, I would like to catch another fish. So if that doesn't happen, I'm definitely gonna be putting a lot of all my talking points in this video, just so you guys can get some tips. I know you guys, a lot of you guys comment a lot of questions and I try to answer as most as I can, but um, a lot of you guys ask a lot of basic questions that I, I, I try to answer to the best of my ability. But seriously, if you guys have any, any, any questions about bass fishing, I will see it and I will answer. Um, even if I don't even know what you're talking about, <laughs> I'll be like, hey, like, not really sure what you're talking about. But I, I really do want to try to help you guys as much as possible. Again, because I love fishing, like, just as much as the next person does. And I want to help grow the sport of fishing to the best of my ability, which means if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please ask, please comment down below. I will 100% answer them to the best of my ability. Even if my answer isn't what you're looking for, let me know. I really do want to try helping you guys because bass fishing, it's the best thing in the entire world, man. <laughs> and if you're having trouble with it and you're getting frustrated with it, the best thing to do is just to ask questions. So comment down below whatever your questions are. Even if you feel like it's a stupid question, there really isn't any stupid question you can ask, in my opinion. But that is my rant. So let me know. Any questions you guys wanna ask, feel free. Don't be nervous, I will answer. And another thing, um, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying, oh, why'd you throw the bass in the water like that? Blah, 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 blah. And trust me, I don't like throwing a bass in the water like that, no matter the size, anything. I just, I like to do a nice release. Oh, we got a fish. Woo! Here we go. It's a nice fish. Woo hoo hoo! We got another one on. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at that. Hooked perfectly in the corner of the mouth. The jig is just killing it, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's go. That's awesome. All right, to be honest. Oh, wow, it just came out. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I don't know. This is... Uh, he's probably like... He's pushing about three. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter is my, my guesstimate, to be honest. I'm not 100% sure. That's about three and a quarter right there. Definitely not th three and a half, but just a little bit over three. All right, guys, we just caught this fish right here. Another one on the jig. It's about three and a quarter. Definitely not three and a half, but pretty decent fish right here. He hit the jig so hard. I was bouncing it and I was reeling it in just so I couldn't hit like a weed patch. He almost hit it like top water. Yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. Today, this morning's definitely turning out to be a lot better than I expected. All right, let's get a release on this fish. We're gonna get a nice gentle release on her because we actually can at this pond. All right. Such a good looking fish right here. There she goes, and she's off. Well, we got two good fish this morning. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna catch another fish because I'm gonna be heading out really soon. Julia went back to the car because of how cold it is. Let me actually check. 
feels like 40 degrees out. <laughs> it's a little chilly this morning, definitely, but that is okay. The fish are still biting and that is all that matters. I don't care how cold it is. Fish are biting, I'm here <laughs> for sure. But I'm gonna keep on casting just a little bit longer, see if we can get another bite. Um, if not, it's all right. We definitely had a solid morning. I can't complain whatsoever. So, but I'm going to switch you guys back to the chest cam and see if we can get another fish. If not, well, I'm sure you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm really sorry for how I released that first bass. There was really nothing I could do besides of tossing her over like that. That's something that I really hate to do. Um, I really, really don't want to treat a fish like that ever. But it was kind of a situation where, I mean, I really had to go like almost in the water to get that fish in the first place. And then I had to kind of boat flip her in just because of how much, you know, the grass was so high. It was a messy situation. So I, I apologize if I offended anyone for how I released that fish. I don't like doing that personally. I mean, it's just not, no one, if you like to treat bass like that, then you probably shouldn't be bass fishing. But again, I apologize. I really hope I didn't offend anyone. Um, that is not my style of bass fishing. I can promise you that. That is not how anyone should ever want to release a fish. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you can always be notified right when I post. I had an awesome morning. It was so much fun. Um, we only caught two fish, but they were both quality fish and I way rather have quality fish over quantity. Quality over quantity, eh, I'd rather catch those two fish than 20 small fish any day. Seriously, thank you guys so much for all the support. All the comments have been really positive. A couple negative, but there's nothing you can do about that. But for everyone that's being super supportive, thank you. I've been working really hard. Um, I know I've been posted in a couple days. And it's because I've been really sick. Sorry, I thought I just saw someone. But it's because I've been really, really sick. Um, I'm on medicine. I feel a lot better. So that's why I'm out here this morning. So I'm really sorry for that. I apologize. My immune system kind of just failed on me for a couple days. There's nothing I can do about that. But in the first couple clips, the guy was like, oh yeah, as long as you leave by 7.30, it's, I don't know if it's gonna, the camera's gonna focus. It's 7.51, so we're definitely pushing our limits by still being out here. That guy was super cool. I came here at one o'clock about yesterday, actually, and the guy was like, hey, look, like you can't fish here. Come back at five in the morning, fish till 7.30 and you're fine. So that's exactly what we did today. We fished until a little past 7.30, but that's okay. There's no one out right now golfing, so I'm not too concerned about it. He was a super cool guy, so definitely not worried about it. Also, I'm sorry I didn't make an intro to this video. I just, I was too excited to get on the water and start fishing. I, I couldn't, I couldn't make myself do an intro. I just couldn't, I, I, can't, I just couldn't do an intro this morning. I was too excited, but that's okay. That's okay, I'm sorry. But anyways, it is absolutely freezing. I went in the water for that fish. I can't feel my feet, but I'm definitely, there's no complaints on my side. I've had a really good morning. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I can't thank you guys enough. I can't stress that enough. Thank you for everything, seriously. All the likes, all the comments, everyone that's subscribed, you guys seriously make the biggest difference on supporting my channel and pushing me to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, the more subscribers, the more comments and likes, um, it's pushing me to keep on going and that's really the motivation that I need. So thank you. You guys are the absolute best. I couldn't ask for a better fan base. You guys are amazing. I wouldn't really call you guys a fan base. We're like a, a group that's growing right now, but soon we'll have a fan base, don't worry. Make sure you follow me on all my social media. I have everything linked down below in the description box, so don't worry about trying to look for me. Everything will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I keep saying thank you, but I seriously can't say it enough. I'll see you guys on the next episode, catching some more fish. <laughs>